Now will be played for, uh, uh, by the uh, central band. Uh, feel free to stand when you uh, hear your uh, branch of the service being played.
time, uh, we'll have a reading by Miller and Steve. Once he had had a father, 
Now that soldier was so very daring. You had to tell the boy why his father had to die. As you walked away, I saw you shudder, and I heard your mournful cry. See the name next to me and those all down the road? We've looked down from here, watching our people come and go. Some touch us, oh, so tenderly. Others scratch over on our name. Some just stand and stare. Still, we're happy that we came. Each name represents a life. Family stricken by our death. We died fighting for the USA. We gave our very last breath. Now we rest within this wall and watch for family and friends. Your visits greatly honor us. Our memory knows no end. We pray for you, dear lady, and also for your young son. We pray his name never appears beneath each and every one. But if perchance he gives his life and meets his final call, remember him. Remember us and all the names of this long black woman.
know what? That you and me and everybody else deserve. So then I ask, what's the hero? It was the ancient Greeks who are a friend with first coming up with this designation. Referring to someone who had so far transcended the scope of mortal margins that they redefined the realm of human experience. Now Webster calls us illustrious warriors. A man or woman admires for such achievements and noble quality. And one who shows great courage. One way or another, we've all been there. The other part, though, and the part I've got to talk about is the downside. We've also had the faith. That's the sacrifice we've had to make. We work the sacrifice for country. We go where things are the part they want. Half ordinary persons are not cannot understand. Why? Part of being an American and living in the country who has the greatest freedom and opportunities in the world. <coughs> Second sacrifice for family. We leave behind wives, husbands, children, and parents. We try to do all we can to make their lives easier. The military today goes to great extent to try to make it better. Yet there is always that fear that something will will happen. If and when it does, wives, husbands, children, parents, and support all come forward. Community support also. Sometimes the military fails here, as we've seen recently. VA fails to care for our people in need. The military bureaucracy turns us away as we turn looking for help. It didn't happen on purpose, let me tell you. It happens because there is a lapse of realization of the sacrifices that you will make. Third, we sacrifice for our friends and others and our religion. If I go, then others don't have to go. If I protect others, they can do things they wish to do. This part of the freedom of being in the United States we still want them to have the opportunities, so we sacrifice our future for others. We sacrifice for those who have made us strong. Our teachers, our doctors, ministers, parents, and others who have influenced us when we grew up. One of my examples is a coach here who helped build my can-do attitude. There are so many others that I need another 30 minutes or so just to touch the surface. Four, we sacrifice for our fellow military people. World War II, navigator, goes on a few extra flights to cover for a wounded fellow airman. We're in Vietnam. We agree to take point, even though it's not our turn. We're at Afghanistan, Navy Teddy, where he's to go with an extra patrol, even though he is to have a day off. A few weeks ago, I ran a 5K with, for the uh, Explosive Ordnance and Demolition Association and their Wounded Warrior Team. I ran with Sergeant First Class Jeremiah Thorson, who had lost the lower part of his right leg in an IED. He was wounded when he volunteered to fill in for another who had been pulled out. We all done it. We cooked extra meals, we provided extra supplies, we worked in supplies for 24 hours to keep them with it. Guys have worked all night to maintain aircraft to get them ready to go again. There's so many things that we put in extra that are part of our sacrifice for our military and our fellow service people. Today, we're sending people to an unknown war against Ebola. I might add, I just finished working uh, an exercise in Fort Lewis preparing a unit to deploy to uh, West Africa. We 
don't like it. We don't understand it. But you know what? We do it because it's the right thing to do. And it's better. We continue to make those sacrifices for others. We still have the pain and the suffering. We just sort of keep it to ourselves. Sergeant Juanita Wilson was on patrol outside Baghdad. Roadside box exploded beneath her vehicle. Trying to help her doctor her driver after the explosion because she felt something unusual. She looked down and her hand was gone. Less than two years after her accident, she demonstrated her commitment to her country. She was part of CBS News feature uh, on the American Hero series. Two years later, after her prosthetic hand was uh, put in place, she was back to work with Walter Reed. She had got her, got her purple heart. She volunteered, went back into the reserve, and deployed back to her rack. Her comments to the interviewer. Many may say that I've sacrificed quite a bit. I don't really look at it that way. I don't think I've sacrificed a lot.
responsibility to prepare them with our love, care, and attention in the early stage. To see that our schools don't forget the sacrifices and heroes we are and represent. One of the things I remember, will always remember from Riley, is on the uh, November 11th, 11 o'clock, we had a symbol in the jail. We made a short movie. The events leading up to the armistice. The pictures of the trenches, the battles, the surrender, the faces of heroes. Those faces haven't changed. They have to sacrifice to the same. So I say to all veterans, get the next good task. Work to stay healthy. Do what's right. Keep some of your military discipline. Take care of yourself, as well as those who uh, we have responsibility for. I just want to finish and thank all of you for your sacrifices and for being my hero. Thank you.